Nepal has had a complicated relationship with cannabis. Decades back, it was the cannabis capital of the world. Westerners flocked to Kathmandu in search of a good high. Then came America's war on drugs. Pretty soon, cannabis was banned in Nepal. Today, faced with dwindling foreign exchange, Nepal is revisiting the cannabis debate. The thick smoke hangs in the air. So does the pungent smell, the unmistakable hint of marijuana. On paper, it is banned here in Nepal, but as you can see, not everyone follows it. These holy men are in a mood today, crushing the marijuana, filling the pipes, and then... Might seem scandalous to you, but marijuana has always been part of Nepalese culture. Ever heard about the Himalayan gold? Well, this is where it comes from. Cannabis was used traditionally in Nepal. It is not a drug that is extremely damaging to the body. Our forefathers have been using it and our religious texts also endorse it. In the 1960s, Westerners flocked to Kathmandu for one thing, a good high. You could walk into a licensed store and buy marijuana. No taboo, no safety issues. But then, the West quit smoking weed. Marijuana was declared a dangerous drug. The Himalayan gold was banned. Decades later, there has been a rethink. It is not justifiable that a poor country like ours has to treat cannabis as a drug. Our people are being punished and killed, and our corruption increases because of smuggling. As you follow decisions of developed countries that are now doing as they please, we cannot continue this inequality. Like we showed you from the start, the ban is not exactly foolproof. In the wild, you do see the occasional marijuana plant. In the shady black alleys, you do see people lighting up a joint. But beware. If the police see you, you are in trouble. One month in jail for possession. Ten years if you're a dealer. So it's important in that aspect we feel that medicinal use has to be legalized as soon as possible. Even today, so many patients are using it, but they are forced to do it illegally. They can get caught any time. Rajiv Kafle is a cannabis crusader. For him, it's a personal battle. Kafle has been diagnosed with HIV. On bad days, the marijuana helps with the pain. Fortunately for him, the government is listening. In 2020, the parliament was close to legalizing marijuana. But Nepal's fractious politics intervened. Now a new government is in power. They too seem eager to legalize marijuana. After all, there is good money involved. There is a market and value for this in the international market. There is an economic aspect to it. The living standards of Nepali farmers and citizens can be raised trading this herb that grows on our hills, naturally grows. The growth will increase if we can manage it and farm scientifically. In the West, attitudes towards marijuana has changed. Some nations have legalized it, including several states in America. There, you do get wannabe strains of the Himalayan gold. But this here is the real thing. If legalized, Nepal could kickstart cannabis tourism, a rerun of the 1960s. South Asia Bureau, we are World is One.